I'm Vicki LeBeau with Texas Last Diet, your last diet. My name is Vicki LeBeau with Texas Last Diet, your last diet, and we're back here with John, and it's now a week. Seven, seven Isn't weeks. That crazy? Yeah, it's Almost crazy. Almost two months. Almost 60 days here. How are you feeling? I feel really, really good. good. And it's working. I mean, it's obviously working, but it not only does it show, but I feel it. It's mm -hmm. funny as I, wherever I go out and about, I have mm -hmm. people comment about you all the time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they are watching, they see you different places, mm -hmm. and they're just like, he is melting away right before I ever, yeah. how long has it been? And I was like, well, it's, it's only been, you know, I think five or six weeks, you yeah. know, going on seven. They're like, what? Yeah, yeah, it's been amazing. Yeah, and I'm, I'm nervous because I, I don't want to get too excited because I don't want to be discouraged later. I, I know it's a long road, but uh, my gosh, it's really showing up now. Congratulations, yeah, you're doing good. great. Tell me a little bit of things that I know that we had some oh. difficulties the last week and yeah. we weren't able to really get on track with a lot of our clients mm -hmm. and stuff like that because we were closed a little bit. Right, right. Um, how did you fare during the, the hurricane? Well, luckily, we were fine. Uh, there were some, you know, typical uh, hurdles that you have to go through in a big storm, but we didn't suffer anything like so many other people did. But uh, the things I noticed uh, were kind of funny. Uh, when, when there was nothing to eat because the, the stores were basically empty, I had food. <laughs> I just opened up my little silver packet and I was ready to go. <laughs> All I needed was some warm water. But, uh, and also when we went to the stores, the stores had been gutted of everything that was, uh, that, that people needed not to cook, you know, so there was no bread, there were no chips, there were no sodas, and I didn't care, because I don't eat any of that stuff. Right. The only thing that was left was fresh vegetables and meat, and that's exactly what I needed. So Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it was, everybody else was freaking out, I was like, I'm good. Yeah, I noticed that too when I walked in the store, I was like, well, I got plenty of food, this is all good. Yeah, right, there was lots of fresh vegetables. Good, good. Now you were telling me about a dish that you uh, discovered. Yeah, I've been trying to use the, uh, the um, recipe book, and I found uh, the recipe for lasagna, mm -hmm. and I replaced the zucchini with uh, eggplant. Nice. And uh, layered that in, and it was remarkably good. Uh, both days I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> good job! <laughs> so that I'm was, so proud of you. I, I, I couldn't imagine. It was so good that, and, and sometimes you think, is it only good because I'm on a diet, or would right. this be good all the time? But it was so good, I couldn't imagine why I would make it with pasta. Why wouldn't I make it this way from now on? Uh, it was that good. Uh, so, so if you were to change that and eat mm -hmm. lasagna with noodles, yeah. um, what's the difference besides lasagna with noodles and eggplants in your body? And do you, you, Oh my gosh, the, the feeling, I mean, there's nothing better than a good Italian meal. But right. afterwards, totally you want to curl up. I mean, it's, it's, it's heavy, it, you feel it for a long time. Right. Uh, and this felt great after, I mean, it's, it's good. It's it, so much vegetable in that, it was, it was hard to argue with. And very little meat. When you when you compare it, uh, and I thought this is the only way to eat this. So you would know? you make it again? Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> awesome. Absolutely. So I was going through your journal, mm -hmm. and um, I noticed here that you're eating a little bit more protein. Then, tell me why why you feel like you're eating a little bit more. Well, it's it's strange because there was a, uh, two three weeks ago I had uh, I was I was cannibalizing my own muscle. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't eating enough, since you said so. Add a little more protein. So I added more protein at lunch, and then I added a little more protein at lunch, and I added a little more protein at lunch. So I'm having about the same protein at lunch as I am for dinner, and I think that I need to probably back off. We'll see what the the results say. Last week I had gained six pounds of. I, I had no weight loss last week, but I had gained six pounds of muscle and lost six pounds of fat. That's a lot of fat. And your inches. And the inches all went down. But uh, so I didn't have a, a weight loss last week. And I'm wondering if I'm going too much with the protein and I'm doing a lot of muscle building, uh, I'm not sure that's, I, I think I need to obviously the balance. I need to make sure I'm burning the fat. And I know I have uh, quite, a, quite a bit to lose and I've, been, I've, I've lost 23 pounds so far. I'd like that number to be a little higher. If it stagnates, stagnate after 30, because that sounds better. Right, right. <laughs> when you're telling the story, it just sounds better. All right, well, I am ready to go. Let's see let's where you're Let's go at. see what I've done. Get you closer to that 30. Yes. You bet. All right, let's do it. All right, arms up. 
Take a big deep breath. Here we go. Here we go. Wait until it beeps twice. Look straight forward. Okay. Remember at the very beginning I told you the average amount to lose is how much a week? Oh, two, three pounds? Okay. Mm -hmm. So you lost three pounds this week. Hey, yay! Congratulations! Hot dog! But the big thing is you lost inches as well. I, I, so a I'm lot of times people come in, they lose three pounds and little inches. Mm -hmm. You lost three pounds and you lost a half an inch in your chest. Your arms stayed the same. You lost a half an inch in your waist. Wow. You lost a half an inch in your uh, hips and wow. your thighs stayed the same. So you killed it. Wow. In a hurricane, baby. In a hurricane. Woo! That's <laughs> awesome. Let me grab your number. Eating numbers. too much food. <laughs> right. So right here, you, you, your body fat went up just a teeny, but it's only 0.6. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you went from um, uh, 6.2.6 .6 to 6.3. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then all that is is when you do things like that, and it's because of the veggies, for it. Mm -hmm. yeah, right, um, right. It's because of the veggies because you're waiting too long in between meals, even uh -huh. though you're getting that protein. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just a little bit. The thing that I think is so magical about all of this is there's nothing I did this week that I can't fix by next week, right? Because we're watching, it. You right? Know what I mean? Right, I know. So, so it's not like you're you're going off the deep end. You're seeing this, the changes. I knew this was going to happen before right. I got this piece of paper. And it's not magical, uh, it's scientific. Well, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Just saying. I meant to say wonderful. How's that? <laughs> you lost how much weight in I've seven weeks? 26 pounds That's in seven weeks. So great. I'm delighted. Mm. I am proud of you. You're an excellent student. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And you've learned some things this week. I have. I, I, it's things I actually knew, but I think uh, the idea of, of pushing the vegetables toward the end of the day because I get busy and I don't have them with me, that's just a question of planning. Right. If I, I need to get better at that because you know, let's face it, I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life. And, and uh, uh, the, the more I learn now, the easier it'll be when I transition to like uh, phase four. Uh, so. And that's the ultimate goal, is to get exactly. you to phase four as soon as possible. Exactly. And I'm there. I, I mean, I want to be there as, fa as fast as I can. Uh, but uh, so, yeah, I know what to do. And the thing that I thought was positive is that when those things happened, I knew it. Right. It, it, that's not a surprise. I knew it was happening, and I uh, and I see the results of it today. I challenge you to another recipe, which is super easy. Three ingredients, right? Sounds great. Cabbage steak. Cabbage steaks. All Who right. thought? I know. And you got to try it with the halibut. I'm telling you, it was spot on. Oh, like, magnificent! My kids even liked it. See you in a week from now. Yep. And the goal is. I want to get four more pounds, I want to get to 30 because when you're bragging about lo weight loss, it sounds better if it's over 30. 30 pounds. You're, you're almost close to that. I know, I know. I'm going to get there. Big number. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. So my name is Vicki LeBeau and I'm with Texas Last Diet, your last diet. If you'd like the recipe for cabbage steaks, give me a call at 832-791-3438 or you can look it up online. There's only a couple ingredients in it. One thing you do want to remember too is if you'd like to do some research on alkaline water or learn more about detox, give me a call. It's a new products, products that we've brought in here just for you to help you with your new lifestyle. And that's 832-791-3438. Vicki Laveau at Texas Last Diet. It's going to be your last diet, I promise. I'm Vicki Laveau with Texas Last Diet, your last diet. <laughs>